Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. We're talking about American language and American culture. So you just came to the United States. You're driving down the road in your rental car or your friend's car, admiring the beautiful country and behind you, whoop, whoop, it's the police and you're pulling over to the side of the road. Stick around. I'll give you some pointers on what to do, but more importantly, what not to do. Okay, so this is basically aimed at tourists visiting America, but this goes for some of you knuckleheads too who were born and raised here who don't know how to deal with the police. So the first thing you're going to realize is there are tons of police officers in America. Whenever you're driving, you're going to see them everywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. You could be in Omaha, Nebraska, or somewhere out in the middle of nowhere, Coshocton, Ohio. You're going to see a lot of police. Why are they out there? They're out there to keep you safe. They're your friends. Well, some people could believe that, but it's all about revenue, man. They're creating revenue for the cities. And how do they do that? Speeding. Traffic tickets. It's all about the traffic tickets. The traffic tickets lead to, number one, a ticket. Then they get you no seatbelt. And then they get you on drug busts. I mean, they're not just policing for safety purposes. So, first off, man, first off, when you see those lights on behind you in the United States... That means pull over. It's not Mexico, it's not Latin America, where they say, -da 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 -da, pull over, pull over. That means you pull over. But the lights aren't always on here. When the lights come on, you pull to the side of the road. No matter what the situation, ambulance, you pull to the side of the road. The thing you need to realize, step number one, is remain calm. Just be calm, man. The police are going to come up. Yes, the police have a gun. This is not the time to start running your mouth to the police officer. This is not open for debate about what you did. He says you ran the traffic, the stop sign. He said you, you didn't stop all the way. Okay, that's what courts are for. Do not argue with them about if you stopped or you didn't. It's, it's irrelevant. If he's going to write you a ticket, you're getting a ticket. The best thing you can do is be cool, be cordial. These police officers, their job is not easy. Do you see what I'm saying? Me and you, we get up every day, and if there's a guy with a gun, we run from him. But the police, their job, they have to go chase them with their guns. How bad does that suck, man? That sucks. So they have a tough job. Show a little bit of respect. And I know here go the comments, the police aren't all good. You know what? The majority of police officers are decent people. You know, every profession has their jerks, but people, police officers really aren't out there to ruin your day. I mean, you were speeding, technically, so don't speed. Okay, if you get pulled over at night, you need to turn on your interior lights. Why? Because it's all about keeping a healthy relationship with the police officer. You need to make him feel comfortable, and he'll he'll recognize that that you know you're being cool with him making his job go smoother and it, it, it could most of the time it will pay off so you turn those interior lights on they always tell you keep your hands at 10 and 2 on the steering wheel yeah okay keep them at 10 and 2 me personally I roll with the California stop if you don't know what that is I turn my car off I take the keys out I throw them up on the dash I put my hands just like this where he can see both of my hands. Why do I do this? Because he knows where my hands are. The chances of me getting shot by accident that he thinks I'm reaching for a weapon, it's not going to happen. He can see my hands. Okay, brings me to the weapons. If you're carrying a weapon in the United States, like many people carry guns in their car, it's just normal. Some states, you're obligated to tell the officer that you have a gun some states have, most states have concealed permits. Other states don't. Arizona, Florida, Texas. People just, they roll strapped, which means they have guns in their car. You should tell him 
just off rip. You know, he comes around, you know, hey, the reason I pulled you over, hey, officer, I just wanted to let you know I have a loaded firearm and it's holstered on my right hip. Ask him, is there anything you would like me to do in this matter to make your job go smoother or go more smoothly today? And that right there, there's been a lot of times that I've said that to the officer and he's like, you know, it's, it, you were speeding a little bit back there. You're going nine over. You know what? Just have a, have a good night. Boom. Just talk my way out of a ticket. I didn't talk my way out of a ticket. I was just cool. I got the lights on. I got my hands up. The car is off. The keys are on the dashboard. The significance of that is so you don't drive away. Your car's off. He, you're being compliant here. You're, you're, you're being cool and making his job go smooth. So let's just say things didn't go that well for you and he writes you a ticket. Now, this is not the time for you to argue with him. That's what courts are for. He's going to ask for your driver's license. He's going to, you know, all your information. He's going to write it down. He's going to take forever, maybe a half hour, bring you a ticket, run you for warrants. He's going to tell you to sign at the bottom of the paper. Don't get all mad and say, I'm not signing that. I'm not. I wasn't speeding. Okay, maybe you weren't. This isn't the point for debate. What you're signing is just recognition that you received a copy of the ticket. Okay? You get do you have your due process in the United States. Due process. It means you can't be found guilty without your right to a trial. Now, are the trials fair? That's for another video. But Sign the ticket. Take the ticket. Welcome to America. Now, what should you do from here? Well, first off, if you're a tourist, tell them that. Don't try to talk your way out of the ticket. Just say, oh yeah, I'm visiting here. Me and my family from Japan. We're from Tokyo. We love your country. Most cops are going to be cool. They're like, wow, you're all the way from Tokyo. That's amazing. They probably won't write you a ticket. Depending on how fast you were going, if you're going 25, if you're going 85 and a 60, you're getting a ticket, man. Like, are you stupid? Don't drive that fast. But if, if it's if it's something not that big of a deal, a lot of times, you know, nine times out of ten, they'll be pretty cool with you about it. Especially if you're from, you're visiting from Egypt or you're you're visiting from uh, Venezuela. Venezuela's got a lot of heat right now. Sorry, Venezuelans. You see what I'm saying? If you came halfway around the world to visit the country, you might get a little bit of leeway there. But be cool with the cop. Turn on your lights. Take your keys out of the dash and throw them up. Always do that. People don't understand the importance of that. Sign the ticket if he gives you a ticket. Be friendly. Don't, don't tell him, you know, for the Americans, my tax dollars pay your salary. Don't say that, man. Don't scream at him. Don't argue. You're just talking your way into a ticket. Are you going to get a ticket? Maybe. Maybe not. Like I said, there's a lot of times they were like, okay, well, just slow down, man. You have a nice night. I wish everybody I pulled over, it went as smooth as it went with you. And I've heard that a lot. So that's my advice how to deal with the police in the United States. You'll see a lot of them. There's ton, tons of them out there. We'll talk about your rights and all that other stuff. We'll do that in another video. Just be cool. Extend some courtesy. And nine times out of ten, they'll extend that courtesy back to you. So make sure you like, subscribe to my channel. Leave me some comments, good or bad. I know a lot of you guys are going to bash me on this. The cops are all jerks. Okay, let me know in the comment section. All right, guys, I'll see you later.